السلام عليكم hello everybody today we will continue our video about ultrasound of superficial soft tissue masses number 8 fluid collections previously we talked about a benign masses then we will continue our video about b pseudo masses which include number 1 bursa related abnormalities number 2 fluid collections Number 2 Fluid Collections Background The cause of a superficial soft tissue fluid collection includes abscess, hematoma, seroma, or lymphocele. Infection of the superficial soft tissue often is due to penetrating injury or indwelling catheters. Initially beginning as cellulitis, the infection can spread deeper and form a discrete abscess. A superficial hematoma may be secondary to trauma or recent surgical intervention, or it may be a complication of excess anticoagulation therapy. Ultrasound findings An abscess An abscess most commonly appears as a complex fluid collection with internal echoes and increased posterior through transmission. Although an iso or hyperechoic appearance is also possible due to the reflective nature of the virulent fluid. Sonopalpation helps confirm the cystic nature of the collection in this later situation by showing a movement of echogenic fluid within the collection. The margins may be discrete or ill-defined and peripheral hyperemia may be seen on Doppler ultrasound images. Surrounding hyperechoic cellulitis is typically present. Superficial collections containing hair suggest the diagnosis of heradenitis separativa, especially if they occur in a typical location, such as the interterrigenous axillary, groin, or perianal area. A fluid collection containing hair in the entered gluteal region is diagnostic of below needle cyst. If clinically relevant, a search for a foreign body should be performed. These appear hyperechoic with variable shadowing and reverberation depending on the surface attributes and may be associated with a fluid collection, soft tissue swelling or both. The ultrasound appearance of a soft tissue hematoma depends on its chronicity. An acute hematoma is typically solid and iso or hyperechoic. Over time, the hematoma organizes, becomes hypoechoic, and begins to liquefy with clot lysis. In most instances, the hematoma becomes completely cystic and anechoic, termed seroma. Areas of heterogeneity, such as linear fibrin strands or mural nodules, may be present with chronic hematomas. A hyperechoic wall or interface also may be evident. A hematoma at the interface between subcutaneous fat and the muscle fascia, most commonly over the lateral hip and related to a shearing type injury, has been termed morel lavalie lesion. Differential diagnosis Abscess and hematoma may appear similar, therefore, history and the clinical findings aid in their differentiation. A hypoechoic, mucinous or partially cystic, hemorrhagic or necrotic soft tissue tumor, either benign or malignant, may simulate a hypoechoic fluid collection as well.